Hello everyone, this is going to be a little demonstration video on how to properly install a thermostat probe on a rack system using heat tape. So you have your heat tape, your rack, and your thermostat probe. I like to put my thermostat probe directly in the middle of the rack system so the heat evenly distributes from top to bottom. You'll want your thermostat probe flush against the heat tape so it reads accurately. And I like to use a strip of heat tape, HVAC foil tape. It's heat resistant, it's very sticky, and it works very well in keeping these sturdy. So I'm gonna go put that on and then I'll be back. One thing you do wanna remember is put the thermostat probe onto one of these black strips. Make sure it's completely on the black strip, just like that. Because these two little aluminum looking bars are the heaters. So they heat up these black portions. If you put your thermostat probe on the white, it's not gonna heat up correctly. You're gonna get wonky temperatures. So just make sure it's on the little black portion. Okay, I have the thermostat safely taped down onto the heat tape using the foil tape. One thing you wanna be careful of is to not cover the probe itself the metal probe part, but you can tape around the wiring. You can tape around the rubber backing. Just don't cover that since it could lead to incorrect temperatures throughout your heat tape. So with the heat tape, there is going to be a little gap. I'm not sure if you can see it in between the heat tape and the tub itself. So you may need to play around with the temperatures on the thermostat a little bit. I'm gonna go set the temperature on my thermostat to around 93 degrees. And then I'll use my heat gun to check all the temperatures of the heat tape itself and then the temperature inside of the tub. So I'm gonna go set that. I'll be back in about 15 minutes to check it out. Okay, so I gave it about 20 minutes to heat up. Now the most important part, you're gonna to wanna to check the temperatures with a heat gun inside of the tub itself. I want it to read between 89 and 91 degrees. So it's reading about, here, let me double check that, 89. And it'll fluctuate between 89 and 90 or so, but I'm happy with that. So my thermostat set at 93 degrees, heats up the tub exactly where I want it. So it might be a bit different for you depending on the room temperature, depending on a lot of things so just double check use your heat gun use it generously don't don't be scared to use it and so my heat tape is all set my thermostat is all set and my tubs are at a temperature that I am happy with the last thing I wanted to touch up on with this video is two different types of racks you can buy you can buy a type of rack with an open side and open back like this or you could buy a rack with an enclosed side enclosed back on each side the main difference between these two is this will typically hold heat, ambient heat better than this, since the heat will be escaping out of the side. So if you were to use an open sided rack, you'll want to raise the temperature of the room a bit, around 81 to 82 degrees to make sure that it's nice and comfortable and warm in there. This one right here is a little bit more forgiving with temperatures. If you can achieve an 84 degree temperature on the back half of the tub, you don't need to raise the temperature of the room, but if you can't achieve 84 degrees, you might need to supplement with a space heater or just raising the room temperature a bit just to get that backside to 84 degrees.